What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here with another awesome math lesson. Today we're going to be talking about divisibility rules. So let's divide it open and see what our objective is today. All right, our objective today, our lessons will be a little bit different, but today I will be able to learn and apply the divisibility rules for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. All right, so we're actually skipping 7 and 8, um, and we'll talk a little bit about why that is, but let's check out our format for today. All right, today's going to be a little bit different uh, because it's really more about memorization today than anything else. We're not really going to get into the conceptual of why all these divisibility rules work. That's going to be something you're going to um, learn a little bit later in your life if you are a student or if you're a teacher. You know, maybe you don't need that for right now, but we want to be able to use uh, this skill to be able to quickly find um, prime factorization and even before that, knowing whether or not numbers are prime and composite. So those are follow-up lessons to this. But what we mean when we talk about divisibility rules, right? Rules that let you quickly figure out if one number is divisible by another, right? In other words, is 5 a factor of 10? And obviously the answer for that would be yes, because 10 is divisible by 5 with no remainder, right? So here's kind of the layout for today because this is going to be a little bit different instruct beats lesson if you've been sticking with us than you might be used to. So first of all, we're going to give you the rule to memorize. Then we're going to give you an example or two, okay? And then we're going to let you try a couple numbers to figure out, okay, let's practice with this rule and see if these are divisible by the number that we're talking about. So let's just jump right to it. So first of all, right, our first number is 1, right? So our rule for 1, and hopefully you know this, right? But any whole number, which is also called an integer, is divisible by 1, right? So any whole number, the answer is yes, it is divisible by 1. Because even prime numbers, you multiply itself times 1, and you can still make that number. So some examples might be 5, right? 5 is divisible by 1 because 5 times 1 equals 5. Might be 36,322, right? Because 36,322 times 1 is itself. So that one's pretty quick, right? Everything's divisible by 1. We're not even going to do the you try part for this because the answers would be yes. All right, let's talk about 2, right? So our rule for 2, right, to check to see is a number divisible by 2. If it is an even number, then it is, right? And you probably know this if you ever graduated first grade, right, where you took the blocks and you split them apart to see if numbers were even. My 7-year-old son just did that last year, right? But if it ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it is divisible by 2 because it would be an even number. So is 311 divisible by 2? And obviously the answer for that would be no, because you can't multiply a whole number times 2 and get 311, right? We're not talking about fractions, mixed numbers, or decimals here. What about 312? And the answer would be yes, it is divisible by 2, because it is an even number. 312 divided by 2 would actually give us 156, right? So you don't have to be able to check it today. All we're saying is the yes or no. All right. all right, so to check to see if numbers are divisible by 3, right? You are able to divide it without having a remainder. This one's fun. The sum of the digits is divisible by 3, okay? So let me give you an example for this. Let's say 114, right? So can you divide 114 divided by 3 and not have a remainder, right? And the answer is yes. If you add up all the digits, now, we're adding the digits, not the value of the digits, right? We're not doing 100 plus 10 plus 4, because obviously that would be 114. We're just adding up the digits. So, 1 plus 1 plus 4 would be 6. And 6, if you know your basic facts, is divisible by 3, right? Because 6 divided by 3 would give us a whole number of 2 with no remainder. So, 114 is divisible by 3. And if you did 114 divided by 3, you would actually get 38, right? So 3 times 38 would equal 114. So that's kind of fun, right? You add up the digits. All right, let's try 607. Okay, so if we add up the digits, right? 6 plus 0 is 6, plus 7 would be 13. 
13 is not divisible by 3, right? Because if you did 13 divided by 3, you would get 4 and 1 third or 4 and the remainder of 1. So it is not divisible by 3, right? Because it's got to be a whole number when you divide it, right? No remainder is allowed for this. So added up the digits, we got 13, not divisible by 3. Now, let's check another one, right? Let's check one that we all kind of know. Let's do 12, right? So if you know your basic facts, right, you know 4 times 3 equals 12. And if you add up these digits, 1 plus 2 equals 3. And obviously, 3 can be divided by 3 because that would be 1. So even the simple ones that you already know and probably have memorized also follow this rule. All right, so here's how you try problems. We have 36,510, 24, 703. All right, so go ahead and pause video. Use our rule to check the divisibility and then push play and let's see how you did. So hopefully you just uh, paused it and checked it. So if we add up the digit for this one, right? Three plus six would be nine, plus five would be 14, plus one would be 15. And 15 is divisible by three, right? Because it would equal five. And so yes, you could divide 36,510 divided by three and get a number without a remainder, right? 24, again, you probably have 24 memorized if you know your basic facts, but two plus four equals six, and obviously six divided by three would be two, so that one works. 24 is divisible by three. And then here, our last one, 703, if we add up those digits, right, we would get 10, and you cannot divide 10 divided by three because you would get three with a remainder of one, okay, or three and one third if you do your mixed numbers. And so 703 is not divisible by three. <coughs> All right, four, okay? So to check if numbers are divisible by four, the rule is the last two digits are divisible by four. Now there's a couple different ways to check for divisibility by four, but this is the one we're gonna stick to. We're just keeping it simple, okay? Just giving you a strategy. So the last two digits are divisible by four. What do I mean by that? So let me give you an example. Let's do 1,412, right? So we, okay, is 1,412 divisible by four? Can we divide that without a remainder if we divide by four? My last two digits are 12, okay? I'm not adding these up. It's not like three worth the sum of it. It's just literally the last two digits. And 12 is divisible by three, right? Because obviously 12 divided, sorry, is divisible by four because 12 divided by four would be three, which means this whole number is divisible by four. And just, to prove it, right, if you did 1,400, or sorry, 1,412 divided by four, that would give you an answer of 353, right? So again, just the last two digits, we're not adding them up, we're just dividing it by four and see if that works. So another example might be 948, right? So 948, the last two digits are 48. And if you did 48 divided by four, right, you would get 12. So 948 is divisible by four. And matter of fact, if you do 948 divided by four, you would get 237, okay? So the last two digits have to be divisible by four. So here are your two U-try problems. Okay, we have 56,315, 56,320. Go ahead, pause the video, use your rule to practice to say, okay, are these numbers divisible by four? Then push play to check your work. All right, so for this first one, hopefully just pause it and check it. We have 15, right? And 15 is not divisible by four, right? Because 15 divided by four would give you three and three fourths or three with a remainder of three. So this is not divisible by four. The, la the uh, 56,320, ends in a 20, the last two digits make 20, right? 20 is divisible by four, right? Because 20 divided by four would equal five. So this one is divisible by four, okay? So again, the last two digits are divisible by four. That's the rule to check divisibility for four. This last one, most of you guys probably know, right? We have the last digit is either a zero or a five, okay? Um, so obviously if you skip count by five, there's that pattern, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We have a great Instructotato rap about that. Check that out in our K2 world. Um, but if it ends in a zero five, 5, we know it's divisible by 5, right? So if you had, you know, 100, right? 100 ends in a zero. So yes, that's divisible by 5. If you had, you know, 46,312,000, 
275, that ends in a five, so you could also divide that by five, right? Now, if you had 46 million, 312, 279, that does not end in a zero five, so that one would not be divisible by five, right? Pretty simple, let's do a couple practice problems. So here we obviously have 20, ends in a zero, so this is divisible by five. We have 39 does not end in a zero or five, right? So it's not divisible, oops, sorry, not divisible by five. Then we had 225, which ends in a five. So again, yes, that one works. So the rule for six, right, is, is it an even number? And is it also divisible by three? In other words, is it divisible by two, indivisible by three? If it is, then the answer is yes, it's divisible by six, all right? So let's do an example. So here we have 607, okay? So 607, there's really two parts of this, right? It's gotta be an even number, and it's also gotta be divisible by three. 607 is already an odd number, so I know this is not gonna work for six, right? Here we have 114 as another example. So it is an even number, so it meets the first criteria, right? And then, is it also divisible by three? So if you remember our rule for three, the sum of the digits have to be divisible by three. So one plus one plus four would be six, and six is divisible by three, right? So this one meets the even number, which means it's divisible by two. It's also divisible by three, so 114 is divisible by six. And if you do 114 divided by six, you are gonna get 19. So go ahead and push pause, try these out by yourself, and then push play to see how you did. So obviously the first one, okay, is an even number, but when we add up the digits, we would get seven, and seven is not divisible by three, right? Because you would get two with a remainder of one. So 16 is not divisible by six. 36,510, it is an even number, so yes for the first part, right? If we add up the digits, three plus six is nine, plus five is 14, plus one is 15, and 15 is divisible by three, so 36,510 could be divided by six. And then this last one, it's already an odd number, right? So it's not gonna work because to be divisible by six, you have to be an even number. So cross that one out. So only one of these worked. Hopefully you got those right. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. All right, we got two more, okay? And number nine, is very similar to number three, right? The sum of the digits has to be divisible by nine. And so to give you an example of this, right, 18, we all know 18 is divisible by nine if you know your basic facts, but if you add up one plus eight, one plus eight equals nine, right? And nine is divisible by nine because nine divided by nine would be one, all right? If you did, uh, let's do 28, right? So 28, if you add up the digits, that would be 10. And 10 is not divisible by nine without having a remainder. So 28 would not work, all right? So again, the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. This is very similar to three. So are you tried problems 278 and 45,540? Go ahead and push pause. Use this divisibility rule to ch check if it's divisible by nine and then push play to see how you did. So hopefully you just paused it and now you're gonna check it. So Two plus seven is nine. Nine plus eight is 17. 17 is not divisible by nine, right? Because you'd have a one with a remainder of eight. So that one is not divisible by nine. 45,540, we know four plus five is nine. Five plus four is another nine, right? So nine plus nine would be 18. And 18 is divisible by nine, because you'd get two. So 45,540 is divisible by nine. And matter of fact, if you divided it, just to check your work, I mean, you didn't have to do that, you would have got 5,060, okay? So again, nine, the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. All right, so here is our last you try problem, okay? So we're gonna try to put it all together. So based on the rules you learned in this video, which numbers is 648 divisible by? Okay, so we have a C, O, no column. All right, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna check for divisibility for one, which obviously the answer is gonna be yes, because it's a whole number. Two, three, four, five, six, nine, and 10. If you notice in the video, we skipped seven and eight. Those are 
pretty involved and have a lot more steps. Not as easy to memorize as these ones. So we're starting off with the easy ones. We might have another video for just specifically seven and eight later, okay? But look at your notes. Look at all the rules you wrote down. You can go back and rewind the video if you need to, okay? So go ahead and pause it right now. Check all the divisibilities for 648 and then push play to check your work. So hopefully you just paused it and now we're ready to check it. So obviously, yes, 648 is divisible by one. It is an even number, so it is also divisible by two. If we add up the digits, which this will help us later, we're gonna get 18. And 18 is divisible by three, right? Because 18 divided by three would be six, so yes. The last two digits are 48, and 48 divided by four gives us 12, so it is also divisible by four. It doesn't end in a zero or five, so it's not divisible by five. You really didn't need to do any work for six because it is divisible for two, and it is divisible by three, which means it is also divisible by six, right? It's an even number, and when you add up the digits, it was divisible by three. For nine, right, we add up the digits already, which is 18, and 18 is, oops, sorry, is divisible by nine, that'd be two, so yes for that one. And then it does not end in a zero, so no for 10, all right? Now, it is also divisible by, obviously, other numbers as well, whether it be uh, eight or bigger numbers, okay? Um, but these are the rules you learned today. Hopefully, you're able to get that right. If not, go back, rewatch videos, okay, to fail as long as, long as you learn from it.